How's it going everybody? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Today's video is about repairing a little bit of damage to the red SS Camaro that I have, my 2012, that was caused by a car cover. Yes, we try so hard to protect our cars when they're out in the elements and everything and a stupid car cover caused damage. So let's get to it. Now, like I said, I, have, I keep my cars covered with car covers. Not anymore, not unless I know that I'm going to a car show the next day and there's not going to be any storms or wind or anything. Because, you know, this year the weather has been pretty crazy. But that's to be expected. Everything runs in cycles. You know, next year might be drought. Next year after that it might be a hurricane. You know, it just revolves. It constantly changes. But what happened was I had a... Um, a car cover on my, my 2012 SS Camaro, like I was saying. It's a form-fitting one, so it tucks underneath real nice. It's got the, the spots for the mirrors, you know, the little extensions for the mirrors, and even the antenna. And what happened was, with all the wind and watching some birds feeding their young, what happened was, with all the wind and everything we had, the wind got up under the car cover and it buffeted where it rolls up over the edges, like the fender and the, the front face and all that stuff. So it didn't, didn't scratch it, but you can see in just the right light, you can see some rub marks in the wax and in the clear coat. Now, yes, I could probably just wax over it and hide it, because that's what wax does, and I'll go into that in another video. Wax hides stuff like that, but in a couple weeks when the wax, or a couple months when the wax wears off, it'll be there again. So rather than having to visually see it again, I'm going to go ahead and repair it. And the way I'm going to do that, typically, the car is waxed, but typically you need to wash the whole vehicle in some form of wax removing agent. They make them just specifically for waxes. Each, each uh, manufacturer has them. I know McGuire's has one, Adams Polishes has one, Griot's Garage has one. But you can use other things like Super Clean, Concentrate, Dilute It Down, or use it full strength, or Dome, dishwashing liquid. Yes, Dome. And that is what we're going to be using. But I'm going to try something a little bit different. The whole car is not messed up. Like I said, it's just the front fascia where the car cover comes up. Up the front and then turns and goes over the hood. It's right there. And right along the body line all the way down both sides. So there's no need in me trying to strip the whole car. So what I'm going to do, I got the car pulled in the shade. It's nice and cool to the touch. And the reason I'm talking to you in here is because it's a little breezy outside. And I don't know if it will be when we get out there or not. But I'm going to dilute some Dawn dishwashing liquid in a spray bottle. Half and half, half water, half Dawn. And I'm going to spray it on just the affected areas, right? Not just the scuff mark, but like the whole front piece of the fascia where it comes up to meet the hood. And I'll show you when we get out there. But I'm going to spray just that. I'm going to let it soak for a couple minutes. And I'm going to take another bottle with nothing but water. And I'm going to wash it off there, and I'm going to wipe it dry with a uh, dry microfiber towel and see if that comes off. And the way I'll know if it does, once I get it dry, I'll hit it with the water again and see if it beads or if it does nothing, if it's just flat. And if, it, if it's still on there, then I'll probably end up having to wash the whole car and don. But let's get out to the car, and I'll show you exactly what we're talking about. All right, we're out at the car. As you can see, she's nice and clean, nice and sparkly all the way around yeah she's looking good boy but here we go i'm gonna show you exactly what i'm talking about it's kind of hard to see uh if you look right here in this area you can see the scuff mark but the sun hits it just right so i'm gonna be working you back and forth trying to show you but right in here it's like that all the way across all down here I was trying to get it to where I see it but you got to be in the light just right and it pretty much has to be a direct 90 degree light down but it's that it's all along here and along this edge down both sides and right here down both sides and I noticed something else also I had it sitting out under that tree right there without the car cover on it and I came out and there were some berries or not really berries little specks of stuff laying all over it 
So I washed the car, got it all off, and what I did is it said on here it left little red spots. You'd think there'd be no big deal on a red car, right? Well, that's wrong. Look at this. Everywhere there's a dot was one of those little things. I guess they're like seeds out of the tree. But everywhere there's one of those dots. You can see where the little, I'm going to call them seeds. You can see everywhere the little seed was laying in the middle and then the clear part around it was where it was red. But that's on the whole back. So I'm going to do the whole back and then along those lines. So let's get to it. Oh, this I got it right here in the shade. Naturally, the scuff marks disappeared, but I started seeing more of those little dots. You should be able to see those in the video really good. They're on the sections of the red, so them, you know they're on the white vinyl too. They're there. And then right here in the sunlight, you can see that one. You can see that one. So they're on there too, so I'm going to check the rest of the car. And I gave it a once over so far, and so far it's just a hood and then what I described earlier. So let's get to the spritzing and see how that goes. Okay, what I have here is half Dawn, half water. I didn't want to do full strength, that just created a mess. And I have a sopping wet, 100%, um, uh, what was it? It's either cotton or terry cloth, I can't remember. It's 100% cotton wash rag, just to rub it in a little bit to agitate it. So let's see how this goes. So I'm just gonna spray it. Try to keep it from running down on everything, stripping all the wax off. I don't want to wax the whole car if I can help it. Not, not right now. So I'm going to let it sit there for a second. I'm going to come back and agitate it in. And what I should have done was sprayed it with water first to show you there is wax on it. Duh. Then I'm gonna get the clean water. That's my water. And a clean, dry microfiber towel. And wipe all that off. Flip it over. Switch it again. Get all that soapy water off of it. Now again, the reason I'm doing it this way is to show just because I have a few defects in the paint, it may not necessarily be the fact that I need to wax the whole car. The whole car might not have defects in it. So I'm showing you this method and trying this method so that if you also have an affected area, don't, you know, don't think you have to do the whole car. At least that's the thought process. Let's see how it does now. It's a, see it's just sitting there, not doing anything. So there is absolutely no wax there. I'll show you over here on this side. There's still a little bit of wax, I mean not wax, soap residue there. You can see where it didn't dry, it kind of looked like that. But it's drying. Here's the side I haven't done yet. As I spray that, you can see that it beads up really nice. So I now know that I have the wax off of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this whole area and the whole, everywhere that I need to get. And then we can start the polishing process. Okay, got my, I was gonna use just my three inch polisher, but since I have to do the hood and the rear deck, I'm gonna use a six inch on the hood and the deck and the three inch on the fascia. And then I'll get the edges going down the sides and over the top by hand. You do not wanna get on one of these edges because these are thinly painted anyway if you use something like this or a smaller one 
it'll spin on that edge and then I actually peel the paint right off or burn the paint right off. But I'm using my 6 inch Creos polisher and I'm gonna use it on probably, I don't know, four. Work the area, one side. And what I'm gonna be using is Meguiar's polish. The reason I'm using a polish is because this isn't a scratch. It isn't really a defect. I'm just looking to take out those spots, which is a surface contamination. I've already washed it again. Like I said, with the ragged stuff, got all that off. And as I was drying it, you could tell there's no wax on it because it was dragging the whole way. It wasn't sliding, it was dragging. So I know there's no wax on it. So I'm gonna hit it with a polish because there's no need for a polishing compound or a rubbing compound or anything like that. And we'll see how it goes from there. And I'll show you how it looks. There's no need you sitting here watching me do it in regular speed, I'll time lapse it. But as always, shake your product up good. And it looks like I'm putting a lot on there, but I'm actually buttering the pad. A lot of people will take their finger and rub it in and everything. I don't. I'll use the car for that. You set it on there, work it back and forth. Right? Then you can butter it with your fingers. And then you go to town. You don't want to apply any pressure because like I said, we're not trying to remove scratches. Let the machine weight do all the work. And move at a, not a fast speed, but a constant speed. Work it until your product starts disappearing or you can't see that there's any being put back onto the paint. Stop, reapply. And this edge right here, I'll be getting that with three inch. So that's why I'm not getting that. I'll get this and this and then get this with the three inch. Always, when you turn it off, leave it on the body panel till it stops. Again, always leave it on the panel till it stops. Another benefit of using just polish, polish is really good for restoring luster or gloss, if you will. It'll actually bring back the color if it starts fading in a little bit. It'll actually make that color pop. It'll make it more vibrant. done that side yet but I have done that side right there so how did it turn out just a little bit of polish and look at this look at that shine holy moly see how it brought back the color the depth to it and now you can actually it looks like a mirror I mean just look at that all those spots are gone the vinyl looks a lot better there's one spot that I missed right there that I need to wipe off but that's the great thing about it you can get down like this and see what's going on now I got to do that side rear deck and then I'll do this by hand and I'll come back when I'm doing that by hand no sense in you watching me do the whole car you, there's videos all over the place about how to polish and wax a car so I'll be back in just a few minutes all right as I showed you a second ago I've got this side now this side is finished come back to the back I've gotten these the tops of my rear quarter panels you can come right down here and look down at it and see that shine. Oh my goodness gracious alive. I've gotten the trunk lid. 
and I've gotten down this side. As you can see, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So now all I've got to do is take my three inch polish. So I got to get the top of my spoiler because I've noticed a couple of those little spots. There's one. So I got to get that. And like I said, I have to hand wax this edge. On my hand wax, I just put some wax on it and get over the top of it and just go back and forth, or polish rather. I got to do that. And I've decided since I've got it out anyway, I'm going to go ahead and hit this with the three incher and this by hand. And then this with the three inch because it's cow induction. A six inch won't fit and you don't want half of the pad trying to roll up over that edge, burn that edge, number one. And number two, it'll be slinging uh, polish and wax and stuff everywhere if that's what you're using. It'll be slinging your product everywhere. But it's probably, I don't know, three inches there and it goes down to about, it goes to nothing there. But right here is about an inch and a half. So yeah, it's starting to look good, ain't it? Let me, and then I gotta get this with the three inch. And I'm actually gonna start up here so you can see it and use but the same deal it's just smaller got my three inch Creos garage polisher three inch polishing pad and it's important if you're going to use polish or compound to use the orange pad with these they're stiffer they're firmer so you, it puts more bite into the uh, paint and then again the ultimate polish by mcguire's but like i said this is just a surface detail it's not really a paint defect i'm about out So it's not taking anything real aggressive to get it. Right, I've got this set on. I'm gonna take it down to five. I had it on six. Butter your pad again. And this doesn't spin as fast, so you have to work it a little slower. And I'm gonna work, I'm gonna cut the whole area with the polish. I'm going to concentrate right where those stuff marks are. Right there. What you saw me do just then was fill the, the paint see if it's getting warm if it's getting warm you're right at the threshold of where you're working but you don't want to make it hot so it's, if it's a little warm it's fine but if it gets hot that's no good no bueno so i'm gonna start with that i'm gonna go to this side and i'm going to do the cow induction part of the hood and i i guess i'll put it in a time lapse so you don't have to sit here and listen to this thing go the whole time but you can see that i am doing what i say i'm doing done everywhere I needed to hit with three inch and I've gotten these edges with by hand so now I'm gonna buff it off and see how it looks hopefully it looks really good never know till you do it right now I don't know if I'm gonna get this waxed this afternoon or if I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow to do it I don't know if I'm gonna have time we'll have to see 
I'll let you know whether it's going to be tomorrow or today in a little bit. Well, there we go, got the whole thing polished. And like I thought, it was just a small surface imperfection. Cause look at that shine on there guys and gals. Just look at that. I mean, it brought it right out. It really did. I mean, look at that reflection. Well, I got the whole hood. I got the whole top of the fascia. I got the edge by hand. All the way down I got this flat spot I got here all the way up I got the whole trunk lid I mean look at that shine and then I got this spoiler remember there's a spot right about there well now that spot's gone that spot is no more the spots that was on the trunk lid gone there's one spot right there that's polished that i missed i'll get that in a second with the rag but those spots are gone those spots are gone the ones that were on here that were on there gone look at that reflection and this is without wax i haven't put the wax on it yet which i'm fixing to but i'm not gonna let you sit here and have to watch me do that because it's been done a thousand times before it's on youtube everywhere and all that good stuff and what i'm gonna be using is Liquid, poly, liquid gloss poly wax by Griot's Garage. I really like how this goes on. I really like how it comes off and shines. It stays on for, for a good six months, even out here in the open. So I'm gonna be putting that on. I'm gonna be hand applicating it and I'm gonna use the, the waxing wax removal rag to take it off. But I'm gonna turn you around here, hold on. <laughs> Hello. But I just wanted you to see the thought process that went in my mind and why I did what I did. Because right now, the whole car does not need waxing. The whole car looks stellar. I mean, look at it. And I looked over the whole car. You, you, you decide what you're going to do to it based on what needs to be done. The whole car didn't need to be waxed or polished or paint corrected. Remember the idiots on the four-wheelers that lived up there? Now they've got diesel trucks. But, guys, human is crap out here. Base what you do on what the car needs. There's no need to strip the whole car, polish the whole car, wax the whole car. It's not time for a paint correction on this. It's not time for a uh, clay bar on this car yet. But it was time to get rid of those imperfections and spots that were on the top caused by the... Um, car cover and as you can see all that stuff is gone every bit of it is gone 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 so I'm gonna call this a video I'm gonna throw some wax on here real quick while it dries I'm gonna put everything up get it off and then go inside and relax for the rest of the afternoon but I just wanted you to see that you do not have to do the whole car it's a misnomer it's false it's a fallacy you don't have to. <laughs> until then, get out there and enjoy those cars. That's what I'm doing. I love this stuff, even though I'm pouring sweat. And until next time, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.